Hey, hey, hey guys, I hope you're all doing very good and good to see you all back here on this YouTube channel. My name is Guntis and uh, I will try to make this video very short and um, very compact, but this will be very useful if you have RX 5700 GPU. Um, as many of you know, um, RX 5700 GPUs are very efficient on mining Ethereum um, just because of their good price per hash and uh, good uh, power usage, um, best watt per, per hash. Also, um, uh, what you see here behind me, I have a test bench with two RX 5700. They are non-XT versions. As you know, that XT version is only on the paper because you can flash RX 5700 XT BIOS on the RX 5700 GPU and uh, that way you get RX 5700 XT version GPU uh, which costs about 10% uh, about 30 euro more than the RX 5700 non XT version uh, but yeah we will edit also the ti GPU timings which we couldn't do before because there was no software that supported these graphics cards because they are quite new but uh, there's now a tool uh, which is possible to use to edit the GPU timings uh, which will increase another 10% of your GPU performance uh, making these GPUs more and more and more efficient uh, for mining Ethereum also they will have 10% speed increase which is amazing um, so let's go get in i will show you now i have to the, the test bench here behind me it's hashing on hive os hashing ethereum um, i will show you uh, what kind of speed it does what kind of performance these cards are already modified and then i will walk you through how to modify your rx 5700 gpus by the way you can do this also with your rx uh, 5700 xt uh, graphics cards so let's go so you can see i'm here hashing um ethereum uh, and you know the stock you know GPU the non version usually gets about 50 52 uh, 53 may hash at maximum but you can see this GPU is hashing uh, 57 and a half and the other one is hashing 58.2 and you can see that it's hashing uh, nearly 20 minutes and all the shares are 100% valid there is no invalid shares uh, as many of you have seen in my previous videos you know there was a way to get uh, this performance but 50% of them was invalid shares but here all the shares are 100% valid um, so it does hashing at that speed also it does use uh, power from the wall 350 watt and, uh, and this is the mining rig the power users haven't changed anything uh, in the modification so I haven't done any modifications but I, I have seen that there's a modification on power tables I haven't played uh, with them yet but I will do that uh, for sure um, in the next video so I just wanted to get this video out as soon as possible that you can you could increase your mining mining speed on the um, RX 5700 GPUs um, let's go now into screen share in Windows um, and uh, let's see how to modify these GPUs. So I want to give credit to this guy. Um, uh, he's uh, Shost58 on a YouTube. So I, basically what I was doing, I was looking for a tool to modify um, RX5700 graphics card BIOS timings. And this is what I found on YouTube that um, there was a link in the description pointing to uh, some website, Igor's Lab. Uh, which is, um, uh, you know, where you can download the, um, the software for basically uh, editing the timings on the RX 5700 GPUs. I'm not really sure if this is, is his invention or somebody else, but its links are pointing to his, uh, that website. Um, so what you will need is, you will need GPU Z uh, too. So basically this is for downloading your graphics card BIOS. Uh, original BIOS backing up your GPU to the computer. Also, you will need the um, if you have a non XT version, you will need XT version uh, graphics card BIOS. 
uh, this basically XD version BIOS allows to open up, uh, you know, uh, allows more overclock on the graphics card. So very good website is tech, techpowerup.com. You can find a lot of different graphics card BIOSes. So I choosing here M AMD MSI RX 5700 XD um, graphics card BIOSes. So what we will do is two things in one, so basically I will also upload XT on a non-XT version card and also modify uh, timings on the graphics card. So I have this version of the graphics card Match OC from MSI. Um, you can download yours, uh, what you need. But it's not necessarily uh, to have an XT version on your graphics card, I just found out that uh, you could increase even more speed with the XT version for the graphics card. I did also modify, try the modification just on a non-XT, uh, just a timings modification on a non-XT version, and my speed increased about 55 to 56 mega hash. Uh, but the uh, XT version allowed me to reach a little bit more um, efficiency. So. Now let's open up GPU Z tool and save the graphics card BIOS. You can see it's straight away opening the graphics card BIOS. Uh, so AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT um, and just save the BIOS on the de desktop somewhere or wherever you want. So basically save the graphics card BIOS. Now go to the back to, uh, uh, you know, the, all the links will be in the description, just to follow the links in the description uh, to download these tools. So uh, basically these tools come from Iger's lab website, um, the ATI, ATI flash tool and um, the ATI flash tool, be careful, you know, I used before uh, ATI flash tool for RX 5700 GPUs, but the version was 293, you have to use 293. Uh, plus because the 293 won't work uh, to update with the uh, modified timings it will work only if you are uploading only original version you will get an error otherwise if you try to upload the modified timings so yeah the links in the description download this ATI flash tool uh, the correct one. Um, also, you will need the red bias uh, editor, which basically will allow you to edit the timings on the uh, uh, graphics card. You download will need to download that. And here is also available more power tool, uh, which is um, basically I think you can uh, increase power efficiency with this. I haven't played out yet with the. Um, with the uh, with this tool yet, uh, but I, because I just wanted to get out this video as soon as possible, that you can start increasing your RX 5700 GPU hash rates. So let's now open the Red BIOS editor. So let's so let's open the red bias editor now and uh, open the bias original bias uh, what we have downloaded for the XT version uh, from the uh, website and now we open VRAM timings and then copy on uh, the uh, 1500 um, megahertz straps into the lower ones into the 1800 in 2000 and 2250 and save this this card has dual bios uh, so save this bios and then open again and edit the second uh, bios on this graphics card the same way I did I did at least did the same way as the first one um, this is the only way I have tested maybe there is more uh, uh, different way to increase even more speed but this is the way I have done it and uh, I'll just save this and the BIOS is ready for production so basically we just need now to upload the BIOS onto the both of the graphics cards what I have here on this system
You wanna also extract the um, ATI Flash 293 Plus to your C drive, so I have done this already. Go to your C drive, create a folder, I have created Flash and just basically extracted the files here. And um, also the rooms, what I will be uploading to the graphics cards, I have uh, saved them here uh, in the same folder. Uh, now open the command prompt, run as an administrator, otherwise it, not, it will not be working. You will need only to run as an administrator. So type in cd slash, uh, next it will open the C drive for you. So type in cd uh, flash, this is the folder you wanna uh, go in. And now you need to open this uh, 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 flasher. Uh, which is basically a software which is uh, flashing the uh, the BIOS on the graphics card. So you type in AMD VB flash space minus I. This will get information about the graphics cards connected uh, to the system. You can see there's two Navi 10. I'm not really sure why it's not showing uh, what kind of graphics cards are connected. Um, so what I he have here basically is two RX 5700 GPUs. They both of them are non-XT versions, but uh, one of them is updated already to XT version. The BIOS is updated and now you can see it showing as a XT version. Uh, so, and there's no errors when I update the RX 5700 to RX 5700 XT. Uh, so yeah, let's go now and update the graphics card uh, BIOS onto the graphics card. Um, so the next thing you need to type in is AMD VB flash minus P. Oh, sorry, no. Um, yeah, AMD flash minus unlock room uh, zero. So this basically unlocks the uh, uh, the uh, the card room, and then the other card also unlock room one. And next thing is uh, to upload the BIOS, uh, you need to type in AMD VB flash minus P minus F minus F basically is force uploading uh, the BIOS on the graphics card. So and now the slot of the graphics card zero uh, and now the the file you have just uh, created, you know, the modified file, you have to create a room file for this GPU and paste in this name and uh, uh, it will start uploading the uh, file onto the graphics card. It will take only a couple of minutes. Uh, so we are basically doing here the uh, two things. Uh, we are um, uploading an XT version room file and we are uploading XT version modified timings uh, room file to the graphics card. So you can see it is uploading uh, old version, new version, um, Flash type, and it should pop up screen. Yeah, it says that uh, restart sy system to complete the BIOS update. Uh, bytes are verified. So and now the same for the second room. Just edit the number one, which is basically number of the card, um, and hit enter. And it will do the same thing uh, for the second ca second ca graphics card. After you, after you have done this, um, you just reboot the system, start the miner. And whatever you're using, you know, I'm using HiveOS, I'm just switching uh, uh, switching out the SSD card and I'm uh, mining uh, uh, with improved hash rate. So it was uh, easy as that. Um, if you have any questions, you know, you can comment down below. Not only this modification will increase your mining speed, but also it will reduce, you know, the time uh, to break even on your hardware, what you have invested for Ethereum mining. Um, so overall, this is a good, uh, good modification uh, for mining for RX 5700. Um, also, yeah, a lot of people are frustrated about RX, uh, sorry, about Ethereum switching to Prog Pow. Um, my thoughts about this, I, I, you know, I would prefer also to switch to Prog Pow, um, but I don't think it's go going to happen, um, you know, because, you know, the, the, the network is too large and the threat on the ASICs doesn't seem that big, uh, big of a deal. Um, you know, there is uh, Unminer E3, there is, uh, the, you know, Silicon A10, but they don't seem that much efficient, you know, uh, as the GPUs, you know, for example, you can see the RX 5700 can hash nearly 60 mega hash of the, 
of the um, the, the mining speed. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, there there is threat, and also also you know it's too risky uh, for such a currency. Um, um, or so, you know, it's second blockchain, uh, and to change an, uh, so to uh, change a, a mining algorithm could be potentially very dangerous. And definitely, I would say so. There will would be a chain split, you know, because there is a lot of opposition, and uh, you know, many people don't like uh, their changes uh, so much because you know Ethereum is switching to proof of stake in the future anyway, and uh, you know, people want more um, to be focused on the proof of stake than just focus on switching the mining algorithm but we will see you know the unminer e3 um, there's speculation that it should stop uh, mining ethereum uh, somewhere in april we'll see how big of the uh, uh, hash rate unminer e3 was on the network you know and that that could you know give us more idea if really asic miners are a threat to the network um, otherwise you know this is how you modify the bios on these rx57 non-xt graphics cards you can modify two things at once. Uh, you can modify to XT version and also modify timings to increase your mining speed. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, um, hit the like button on a video. Um, you know, hitting the like button doesn't cost you anything. You know, it c increases mining adoption um, and increases Ethereum network security. You know, for a few uh, percent. Uh, so let's do that now all together. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done this yet. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye.